We're working developing news tonight out of New Bedford, where police are investigating a disturbing complaint against one of their own. An officer is accused of posting a possible crime scene photo of a dead body on her Facebook page. Eyewitness News reporter Daniel North joins us live now from the New Bedford Police Department with the developing details. New Bedford police tell us tonight their first step is trying to figure out exactly where that photo came from and if it is indeed a real photograph. But they can confirm for us tonight that a female police officer here is under investigation for possible misconduct. This photo appears to show a possible crime scene. Now, we have blurred out the body in the photograph, but the entire picture was allegedly posted on a female police officer's Facebook site and included comments from two former police officers below it. Tonight, New Bedford police say it appears the victim may have died from a drug overdose, but they are not 100% sure if the photo is authentic. It looks like it could be a crime scene, but... Like an onion, there'll be a lot of layers to something like this. You'd have to try and source the photograph in terms of where it came from. You then have to see the origin of how the photograph got where it got. Tonight, we have confirmed New Bedford's Mayor Scott Lang has been made aware of the allegations. He tells Eyewitness News he will be reviewing the case tomorrow and promises to take immediate action against the officer if it is determined that the officer acted improperly. Is it a New Bedford crime scene? And then if so... It, was it taken by one of our police officers? And if so, was this police officer on duty? So there are a lot of layers here that we need to look into procedurally. Now, just one year ago, a male police officer here in New Bedford was suspended for 30 days after he inappropriately used a photo of himself in uniform online. And as far as these latest allegations are concerned, while well, police and the mayor tell us they are continuing the investigation. We're live in New Bedford tonight. I'm Danielle North, Eyewitness News.